the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 69, Deuteronomy 31 to 32, the national song by Moses. In the song Moses sang, where the past history was contained, were the deep memory of the grace of God and the future direction in which Israel was to go. First point. The kingdom of priests and the covenant of the kingdom of God are connected through God's vision. Before his death, Moses gathered all his strengths to emphasize to the manna generation God's law. To see the 66 books in the Bible as one story, we can see how God implemented his vision through his people's visions. Jacob's vision was for his descendants to enter the land of Canaan and live there. Joseph's vision was also towards the land of Canaan. Moses' vision was for Joshua and the Mana generation to live in Canaan. Later, David gave Solomon his vision about a kingdom of priests. Solomon then passed on this vision to the nation. Jesus also passed on his vision to all Christians. Saint Paul left his vision to the next generation of Christians. Second point. The Levites and the elders of a kingdom of priests read around God's laws and made the Israelites hear it. Closing his lectures to the Mana generation, Moses warned the people of something, so Moses wrote down this law and gave it to the Levitical priestess who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord and to all the elders of Israel. And then Moses commanded them, at the end of every seven years, in the year for canceling deaths, during the festival of tabernacles, when all Israel comes to appear before the Lord, your God. At the price he will choose, you shall read this law before them in their hearing. This was for the elders of the Israel nation to gather at the end of every seven years and read around the Pentateuch, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And Moses ordered for this to be performed in front of all the Israelites. This order by Moses is passed down generations in every household. Third point, at the age of 120, Moses made a national song for the Israel nation. Moses' lecture given on the outskirts of Moab now came to an end. Closing his lecture, Moses passed on a song for the nation to sing. Now write down this song and teach it to the Israelites and have them sing it, so that it may be a witness for me against them. So Moses wrote down this song that day and taught it to the Israelites. Moses wanted the people to sing this and not forget. This became their national song. Moses' songs are recorded in Exodus 15, Deuteronomy 32, and Psalm 90. Fourth point, Moses' song, David's song, and Jeremiah's songs are all connected. Moses, David, and Jeremiah all sang about God's glory and God's vision. David wrote approximately 70 songs for God in Psalms. An example is the following. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him. 
and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song, I praise him. Jeremiah wrote a very sad song lamenting for God. I remember my affliction and my wandering, the bitterness and the cold. I will remember them, and my soul is downcast within me. Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have a hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Jesus also sang His prayer to God after taking on the cross. Before changing the 1,500-year-old Passover into the first ever communion, Jesus sang on his way to Gethsemane with his disciples. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Fifth point, counting God's blessing is the way to stay humble. Moses taught the m o n a generation about God the Creator who is their father. God created the first ever man, Adam, in his own image and breathed into him the breath of life. Moses taught that living in the ways of God is their way of breathing. Remembering God the Creator and obeying Him is to walk in the way of a blissful life. Moses then reminds the Mara generation to be humble. When people start to think that they have achieved something through their own hard work, it is easy to fall into the trap of being arrogant. Moses warned the people not to become arrogant once entering Canaan. He reminded them that God had given them this land and that it was His blessing. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth to mouth breathings. Of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes. From mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 